Welcome back, guys, in our artist spotlight for the day. We have Jody Barnes. He's an author and a poet who wrote a poem for Black History Month that has now turned into a children's book. We're so excited today to welcome Jody. Welcome to the studio. You brought a lot of your books. M Malcolm explains, I am awesome. Tell us a little bit about this book. So the book itself started from the Black History poem. Almost every single year I try to write a poem for the Black History program. And my wife saw this one. She's like, hey, that's a kid's book. And I, I started reaching out to illustrators. I, I messaged about four or five of them. One of them, Mr. James Hislop, the one that illustrated this book, sent me back some designs, sent me back some ideas, and he really just nailed it. Like, like he really just, this is what I'm thinking of. This is how I like the character to go. And when you put it all together, I mean, he just came up with, with something perfect for me. It's beautiful. I was flipping through the pages right before this segment, and I want to I wanna focus on this page for a second. It says, the blood of kings and queens runs through my very DNA. Talk to us about the message behind this book and what it means for young black children to be so proud of their heritage and where they come from. We have a lot of stories right now that really focus on girls and, and we need to our, our black women are beautiful we need them to be positive but very few talked about the, the young boys so when i thought about the idea i really want to come up with a concept for the young man to say hey you know i'm proud too i'm awesome too and one of the things we tend to forget is the reason that the whole kings and queens became popular to say is because we have that like, that is our history we've had empires and great people all throughout came in, all throughout what became egypt like our, our, our people are great and we just need to hear that often, to hear that frequently, to let us know that, hey, we are awesome. Yes, absolutely. And you were a young kid once yourself, so tell us some of the struggles that you faced where you've kind of channeled that into this book and maybe something that maybe perhaps you needed to hear whenever you were a child. So one of the biggest things for me is I was from a military family, so we moved a bunch. And I really didn't have a chance to appreciate my blackness, if you will, mm -hmm. <laughs> until I went to college. I went to a HBCU, Alcorn State University. And that was the first time I was kind of thrown into the culture. Sure. And it is a huge culture shock. And then you start to learn how many great things, because most of the time when you hear us on the news, I, I hate to say it, but we hear it in a negative concept. We hear that you know we're robbing or we're shooting or we're committing crimes or we're 40% of the prison population. We don't hear those positive things. Sure. And when I got to college, I started to hear those positive things. And I want to hear more of those positive things. And then. When I started teaching, every time I went to a school, like, oh, you never had a black history program? That means that these kids never heard the positive things. And I really want to start doing something to say, hey, look how great we are. And it's not, it's not to put anyone down to lift someone else up. That's a common misconception. Yes. You, you can lift someone up and pull them up with you. When, when the tide comes in, all the boats rise. And I want everyone to know that we can all do great together. That's an amazing message to send out. And I know that you're going to schools, reading this to, to students. Mm -hmm. Hey, you also have a website where people can grab your book, also your merch. You're winning, wearing one of the shirts right <laughs> yes, now with Malcolm on them. So send us to a website. Jody, I know everyone at home is going to want to grab this book. Where can they go? Malcolm Explains. Now, Malcolm is spelled M-A-L-C-O-M, explains.com. Um, everything is on there. The, the shirt that I'm wearing is the common shirt that I have. The I am walking into awesome shirt is what I call it. Yes. I have a special edition Black History shirt that we're doing just for the month of February, which has the Rosa Parks, the Kings, the Martin Luther King, the Malcolm X, um, and the books and coloring pages because we, we market this to the kids so we want them to be something interactive yes. um, I'm a former teacher or well, I'm currently teach as well and when I go into schools I like to give coloring pages interactive activities I actually have a curriculum set up for the third and fourth graders as well to make sure that you can actually not waste waste time with me just reading it but actually have a story thank you so much Jody for being with us today lots of things available for you guys make sure you get your hands on Malcolm I am awesome and we've got a furry friend in the studio and we're telling you how to clear the shelters after the break stick around